What's up, y'all? Hey, this is Mr. Asiatic here, by the way. Going a little off topic for my uh, my gun topics for the day. Right now, I'm really interested in uh, Ryan Matthews, the San Diego Chargers running back, uh, going into his third year this year. Um, on her reports, he's ready to be the work horse, and he's ready to uh, carry the ball and uh, really do what we were expecting him to do in the first year, which may have been pushing a little bit. I think it was a weak running back uh, draft. Ryan Matthews, uh, coming out of Fresno State, um, he, had, he had a real good career during college, but it was, you know, it was a it was a pretty weak uh, draft class. Had it have been a, a better class, I don't think he would have been the first overall pick. But I am a San Diego Charger fan, and I'm starting to come on to Ryan Matthews, and uh, I think this guy has some good talent. I really do. Uh, so let's start off by me. Uh, subjecting Matthews to a couple things there's there's been things about his friends you know saying uh, or ex-friends I guess or haters well, I don't know what you want to call them whether it's true or not is beyond me but there's been times where people say he'd rather party than he would uh, want to work and uh, and I think that we all seen that I think that uh, he didn't come prepared uh, the, the first year uh, his rookie year I don't think he came prepared the second year, if you guys remember, he came he came uh, out of shape. Now, if that was due to lockout, I don't know. But as an NFL player, you need to be prepared. Uh, I mean, that's your job. There's no excuses. It's the same thing as me not coming to work prepared, you know, and uh, being able to do jobs. So, you know, you got to come prepared. So he came out of shape. Uh, and... Uh, you know, so I think that showed his maturity level. But I think that's this, I, and I think that's been holding him back. Is his work ethic? I think if this man had a work ethic, such as a uh, your Adrian Petersons, your uh, MJDs, um, I think that he would be a top five running back in the league easily. Now, you know, you we have to also say that uh, San Diego is a a passing team, so we can't expect them to uh, throw up eighteen hundred yard uh, seasons. B, um, we don't have the best run offensive line. Uh, and uh, C, I don't think Jacob Hester is uh, getting the job. I mean, he's a great fullback, don't get me wrong. But I don't think he's uh, getting the job done as well as a, or the new fullback. I believe it's McLean that we just picked up this year. Uh, so I'm really, I'm really stoked to see that combination as well. But I think the uh, the thing that's been holding back Matthews has been his maturity level, uh, and uh, but I think that he'll prevail. I really do. I mean, if you look at this guy's numbers, I'm not I'm not reading nothing off. Uh, don't quote me on this, but I think it was 1,091 yards in 14 games that he played. He was he was out for two games. I mean, that's not bad on uh, on a passing team with not such great of an offensive line. And I believe he had a 4.9 average as well, uh, which is one of the highest, if not the highest, uh, in the AFC West, West. Darren McFadden may be number one on the uh, yard per carry, but I think it was 5.4 for McFadden. Uh, but we may see Ryan Matthews in the same boat as Darren McFadden because Darren McFadden has injury issues and so does Ryan Matthews and uh, if Ryan Matthews can pull off and this is going to be a season Tolbert's gone uh, the number two would probably I don't know who's fighting for number two but I know Curtis Brinkley is in the mix which I do like him too as well um, so there's no one to really vulture and steal the carries from Ryan Matthews especially at the goal line so you know you fantasy guys I'd pick up Ryan Matthews uh, in the second round because uh, he, I believe he had, what, six or eight touchdowns last year, and that was with Tolbert Vulturing. So, um, you know, he should get his time to shine if he can stay healthy the whole year. He may be looking at a 1,500-plus yard season and 10-plus uh, touchdowns as well. Ryan Matthews, the one thing I do know most about Ryan Matthews is, is, is his power and speed combination, which reminds me a lot of Adrian Peterson. Um, however... One thing about Ryan Matthews is he seems not to be able to break those big runs open. We'll see those, and as a fan, be like, yeah, and then by the time you're up, I mean, he gets caught from behind. He has great speed, and I don't know how he keeps getting caught, but he, the only game I can really think of where he busted a long run 
was uh, against San Francisco, I believe, in a preseason game with their second, third string guys out in defense. Um, that's the, and there was a couple break that his breakout game was at the end of his rookie year in uh, in Denver that he had a couple, you know, a couple yards. But even then, if you look, he gets caught at the goal line tackled, even though it was for a touchdown, but he still gets caught. And you know, I find that kind of amazing. One other thing about Ryan Matthews as well is his jukes. shouldn't say his jukes because he really cannot juke uh, but he can play he can play I don't think he really necessarily needs to juke um, he has great speed especially out of the hole I don't know in the long run but in the hole out the hole which is really underestimated out the hole acceleration is really what gets you um, and he has that he has great vision uh, and great power he does not run people over like, actually, hell, he does. <laughs> he runs people over like Adrian Peterson. Doesn't have the great highlights like Adrian Peterson, but he's still on a short career. I think if he can stay healthy, work hard, which I read an article, him and Jacob Hester are now workout buddies. And uh, I heard they're working out together hard. And I guess he's up to 236 now, 236 pounds. He's, he's getting pretty big. He was already big. and uh, So I expect big things from him. Uh, so I just want to start a new discussion. Uh, see what you guys think about Ryan Matthews. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard because I'm more of a, in the gun category here with my subscribers. I don't know if they watch football or not. So hopefully I can bring some more football subscribers and we can you know discuss football, and so on and so forth. This is just one of the night late night ramps. Uh, see if I can uh, you know start a little discussion. I know I'm going to get some Raider fan haters in here, but, you know, so, I mean, hopefully, I'm betting on Ryan Matthews. I got my bets in. If he can if, if he can stay healthy, there's no question in my mind that he will do good things. If there's a question in your guys' mind, if he stays healthy, I don't know what to tell you. So, subscribe, uh, comment, like. If you're a Raider fan, I'm sure you're going to dislike. It should be over here to the right of like. I feel you guys. Alright, thanks for watching.